Okay, today's intention is to get back into the groove of things. I'm going to do push-ups and pull-ups today and also practice the flute. Here goes 50 pull-ups and 70 push-ups. Let's do it. That's 50 pull-ups, 80 push-ups in just over 18 minutes. My push-up count is going up, so I guess my chest is getting stronger. That's good news. Shit guys, it's 12.26 a.m. and I just talked to my friend Daniel for just over two hours. It was really insightful. I don't want to share much about the conversation because it's pretty private. But one of the things he did say is that keep up with this authentic YouTubing daily um, because there definitely is uh, demand? I, I don't know if demand's the right word. Demand for that? Yeah, I think demand. He said a lot of people are lonely and watching these people having a parasocial relationship instead of a one-to-one, -one, it's like one-to-many or many-to-one, like like someone watching 100 hours of Joe Rogan, even though Joe Rogan doesn't know that person. That's kind of imbalanced one-to-many parasocial relationship. Anyway, it's a... Uh, it's, it's, we're living at a weird time where that is possible. So what do I wanna say? I wanna say that my push-up count has gone up a lot to reach 80 today. Usually before I did around 65 for every 50 pull-ups, but now 50 pull-ups I'm doing 80. That's a huge improvement. Then again, I'm doing my push-ups faster, so that probably has a lot to do with it. But yeah, it's still a rise in the count, so I think I am getting stronger. Daniel and I were talking about following a higher purpose, having something that you're committed to that is important beyond anything else, and not sacrificing anything for that. And that's the way to have an abundance mindset, where you don't physically need things to feel like you're abundant with things. For example, he said Naval Ravikant said that even when you become a billionaire, you realize that you're still the same person. Like having financial abundance doesn't solve everything. Having whatever abundance doesn't solve everything of your life problems. You're still the same person in the end. So having this abundance mindset that you have everything right now, that's what we have to strive for. Instead of chasing having physical material abundance, we have to have the mindset of already being abundant or already having abundance. So that was an interesting topic. How do we have an abundance mindset without physical abundance? And it definitely seems possible. Like the quote that he said was, Jesus has fuck you money when Jack Dorsey does not, even though clearly Jesus is way poorer. So he said, having an abundance mindset comes from self-trust. And this is where it got a bit vague, self-trust. I don't, I want to to elaborate on that so I'll, I'll hear what he has to say the next time he talks about self-trust but it was getting late we had to end the conversation i have to edit this video it is now 12 30 a.m and i really need to sleep so i'm gonna make this as quickly as possible one percent better every day baby